Hello everyone in Duster World, um, it's Merv. Um, what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to um, attempt to stop a very irritating leak that I've just had form. Um, I noticed after a jet wash and some heavy rain, there was some water um, coming through this uh, area which houses your microphone um, for your hands free. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what the reason is. Um, the aerial um, where it goes through into the car hasn't got a very good seal. And I've seen and heard reports of this happening and going back to the dealers and them messing about with it. Well, um, to be honest with you, um, I'm not going to even bother with the uh, my Renault garage um, for this because I'm fairly confident I can cure it. Um, as you can probably see, um, my early model has this um, overhead compartment um, uh, which I believe that they actually stopped because it lost a star in the end cap rating because there was a potential to damage yourself in the event of a rollover. Um, I personally find it incredibly useful. I can actually put my CB up in here, glasses, wallet, phone, um, all stays out the way and doesn't fall off. It's great. Uh, I, I really like it. Um, the way to access it um, is fairly straightforward. Um, you have these clips here. Um, they've got to be just prized out. Um, and then that pulls down. And then it's literally just a yank. Um, the front's a little bit more tricky. Um, take the light out. And there's a couple of... Um, actually, I, I left one out here. There's a couple of, couple of these little clips here. A uh, pair of pliers pull it down um, and then a good old jiggle and a wiggle and the whole unit comes out and then you have access then to the um, bottom of the aerial uh, which is situated ironically just <laughs> underneath that speaker so when it rains um, it drips straight onto that um, anyway let's get on with the work and um, hopefully we can assist you if you are having the same problem so the first thing I'm going to do is just prise the light down. Um, you need a flat bladed screwdriver or preferably um, the plastic ones used for removing um, plastic trim and fascia. Um, that will stop any any marks to your to your work. But it's fairly easy to get these out anyway. So there's the light cover. Um, as you can see, I actually replaced my bulbs with... LEDs in there um, just to brighten things up. Once you've removed the outer fascia, um, you should be able to use two hands, but I'm using one because I'm trying to um, to show you guys. There we are. And there's your light unit out of there. Um, so the next job is to now remove this whole unit. Well, after much wiggling, um, it's out. The, uh, the back fittings were pretty straightforward. You flick them down, give it a yank, they come out. These front two, um, you can see they, they're sort of pinched in and you can't sort of expand them out. So it is a case of just backwards and forwards, wiggling and wiggling, be confident, and then it comes. You can see I've just pulled out the, I'll unclip the microphone, uh, which is absolutely soaking. Okay, so lights all undone. And right, let's see if we can, right. There's the area of concern. As you can see, there's a washer behind that. Um, so I'm just going to unscrew the aerial socket, have a look at the washer and get it resealed. Um, the great thing is it doesn't look to be any corrosion in there. So um, that's good. Right. OK, on to the next job. Right. It looks to be an 8mm socket. Luckily, I've got a deep one because um, you need it deep to get up in there. So... Uh, just get this baby undone. Here we go. 
Okay, so I've removed, removed the antenna from the uh, top of the car. Um, that's all it is really. I'm going to put some sealant around that thread there, the um, clear one. I'm not happy with the way that is. Um, so there's the hole that's left. So I'll give that a clean up and I'll put a bit of sealant around that. Again, I'm pleased there isn't any signs of corrosion coming through there, so that's a positive. Okay, let's uh, get that cleaned up. Okay, I've cleaned it up. Now, what I find strange here is there isn't an outside seal. Um, the seal is only on the inside of the metal. Um, you know, in my mind, you could do with some sort of rubber washer or something there, but then it would stand too proud. As you can see, it's almost flush, so you really wouldn't be able to put anything there. Um, the black bit is like a locator um, for the aerial. I think I'm going to put some sealant around that ring, um, just as an extra bit of precaution there. Um, I'll just show you now I've cleaned up the hole. Uh, a little bit of paint chip. Um, but nothing too serious there, but uh, I'm just going to just get rid of that black, um, make sure it's absolutely clean, and then put a bit of sealer on. Right, so looking at the inside, um, that's the back that goes to the roof. Uh, that's the bottom side. Now, if you have a look at the hole in the roof, all that's there is, it looks like just a bit of silver foil that obviously just deforms when that goes against us. Not really a seal at all. I'm amazed it hasn't leaked before. Um, very, very odd design. Um, th this is actually still soaking here. So I just, I just don't understand what they've done there. I mean, I suppose the answer would be to put some sort of rubber washer there. Um, but I'm going to do it with sealant. Um, a flexible sealant, uh, like a good, uh, a good silicone or something like that. But that is a very, very strange design. Okay, so I've used um, a general purpose silicone sealant there. Um, basically just... Uh, squished it all the way around the, both the locator hole and the aerial feed hole. Not on the outside though. Um, I wouldn't put it on the outside because you're going to then, when it squashes down, it's going to go over your paintwork. Um, I've used silicone because um, it's flexible, it's waterproof, and if you did need to take it off again, it's not that much of an adhesive which it would actually take, it would take your paint up again with. Um, I know people sometimes will use, or I've heard people using marine grade sealants and such like, but the fact that it's not actually going to be directly weathered, um, sunlight's not going to be attacking it, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be sufficient for a good old few years. Um, and after doing it once, I know exactly what to do again if there's no, a further problem. Okay, I was going to put some sealant on the inside, but obviously there's a reason it needs to be metal to metal, um, and that's the, the earth for the aerial. Um, I think if you took that uh, metal to metal contact away, your reception wouldn't be nowhere near as good. So I'm pretty confident that the outside sealant is gonna, is gonna cure that. So that's the aerial back in. Um, just put the nut and washer back on and uh, reattach it. Right, it's all back and tightened up. Um, I really think you should also put a bit of Loctite on that nut because it wasn't particularly tight when I took it off. Um, again, I think with the leverage, the whipping about, banging on trees, etc., um, it has a possibility of loosening that. Um, but anyway, it's all back on, and I'm pretty confident that's sealed. Right, here we are, all back, as good as new, and pretty straightforward. Um, this is just all push fit you bang it up there push the clips back in front was just push fit uh wires back into the light and that's it um so it's a job it probably took 
40 minutes in total um, saves you all the hassle going to the garage. Um, with regards to that sealant, that's up to you. Now, you know, as I said before, I, I, I truly believe that the the aerial used is too long I and mean, you're getting too much um, whipping um, and that's creating movement and the seal is um, coming away. Well, there isn't really a seal there. There's, there on mine, there's certainly there's no washer. Um, it was almost like a plastic to metal um, uh, um, fixing. I mean, like I said, how that hasn't leaked before, I don't know. Unless it's just been weeping before. I don't know if my microphone still works, but that was absolutely soaked. Um, but I'm pretty confident we've done it now. And um, hopefully this will be of use to um, some of you that may be experiencing the same problems. Um, have a great time dustering and goodbye.